minus 12 minutes. Timer. Tim. Ready. FACA. Nicely from the initial launch transients. Main engine control is good. Vernier control is good. And we have separation command. Separation.
SMAP is trying to uh, improve our ability to understand how water availability is changing over different regions of the, the Earth. The amount of water the Earth holds is constant, but some areas may receive more water, some areas may receive less water. SMAP will help us improve our ability to forecast uh, where those regions are and to perhaps uh, take action uh, to, to mitigate the effects of either too much water or too little water. One of the more interesting features of this MAP satellite is the large spinning antenna that's used by the instrument uh, to make its measurement. The antenna needs to be large in order to have high resolution. Uh, it needs to spin because the anten antenna is looking off at an angle and we rotate it so that it sweeps out a circle underneath the observatory which allows us to measure a thousand kilometer wide swath under the satellite. That thousand kilometer wide swath allows us to measure the entire globe every two to three days. Water is fundamental for human life and SMAP will allow us to track how future water availability in different regions of the earth will change and that's going to affect the lives of every person on the planet. Being able to understand that uh, in advance accurately, reliably uh, will be invaluable for a, a number of uh, different uses that will benefit uh, er everybody on the planet. SMAP stands for Soil Moisture Active Passive. Soil moisture is measured over the entire globe every two to three days. Uh, we use an active radar to measure soil moisture with high resolution. We use a passive radiometer. It's a simple scientific receiver uh, to measure soil moisture with high resolution. So with both the radiometer and the radar were able to get both high resolution and high accuracy in one single instrument. The moisture in the soil governs a lot of things. Uh, first of all, it's the layer that uh, controls the uh, evaporation of water into the atmosphere. Uh, that moisture um, can be distributed in the atmosphere, form clouds and rain, so it's an important part of the uh, land water cycle. Um, it's also a precursor condition for predicting floods. Um, it also is the soil layer where uh, crop roots are, so it uh, governs the crop yields. Um, so there's many applications of soil moisture that are important. And one of the most important applications is improving our ability to predict weather and climate. Um, the uh, soil moisture conditions at the surface are important for initializing weather models that predict future rain and temperature. Um, the soil moisture is also very important in uh, improving climate models that can help us forecast longer range conditions of uh, drought and uh, conditions of atmospheric temperature and precipitation in seasons to come. So, th so these are applications that the operational agencies, not just in the United States, but globally, uh, can use uh, these new measurements to improve their forecasts. SMAP is a uh, research mission. It's, it's the first of its kind uh, for this um, high spatial resolution soil moisture measurement. Um, I think it'll be very important in applications worldwide, as I've mentioned, uh, floods, droughts, agriculture, um, and uh, weather and climate uh, prediction. I think that uh, the, the use of this new data type will really enable um, uh, a lot of benefits globally which, uh, which are very important and exciting. I'm very excited about it. Um, it's been a long time coming. Um, many of us uh, in the research area have been working on soil, soil moisture for a long time. Um, we're very excited about the new data type and working with colleagues around the world to uh, make the best use of it. And um, we, th we think it's going to have a big impact on our knowledge of the water cycle.